Hello everybody, Carnage back here again, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the brand new Marvel Legends Thor Love and Thunder Armored Thor figure. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Alright, starting off with the box, very cool box art. I really do like the back of the uh, box on the inside. Very bright, vibrant colors. Very, very nice side work of Chris Hemsworth in his brand new costume. And on the back, little read up. Let me just kind of adjust that for you guys. And there's a little read up right there. Thor unleashes the power of Stormbreaker to overcome any foe. Okay. And let me just say, this is definitely a beautiful back, uh, back artwork. And there's the rest of the figures in the wave, plus the brand new cord to build a figure. And there's the bottom of the box, there's the uh, UPCI code for those of you who want it, and not much on the other side, and on the top, I really like this, from, I know for the uh, first Thor wave, they did something very similar to this, but I really do like that they didn't just reuse it, and they actually gave us the broken hammer that Jane Foster holds. Also, I really do like the uh, Thor Love and Thunder. Uh, logo looks very nostalgic and 80s looking to me but yeah uh without any further ado let's get straight to the brand new thor figure all right and starting off uh i'm gonna do the accessories and thor comes with one alternate fisted hand which very very cool detailing on it i like how they gave him like the gold band with like the like uh, gold band, uh, like a little detailing on it. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's armor, but it's very well done. Kind of wish they would have given us a, uh, another fisted hand for his other hand rather than keeping it like wide open like that. And up next we have the Stormbreaker. And this is definitely a new mold for the uh, figure because I have the, uh, one that came with the Thor from the Infinity War wave, the uh, Cole Obsidian one. And I don't know if you guys can tell that, but uh, the Infinity War one is definitely like a little more bulky. And I do like this one more. Like this one's more sturdy because like you can move it, but it's more difficult to. And this one, well, I mean, it's just wobble. And I am kind of worried that this will break at some point in the future. But it's still a very, very nice uh, Stormbreaker. I really like how they gave it a more shiny look to it compared to this one. And from what it looks like, they basically just used mostly the same thing. Like they gave us more detailing on this one from what it looks like. Because on this one, they only gave us like two vines wrapped around on each side. Compared to this where it's like three in the middle plus plus the uh, two crosses on each side. And those are all the accessories you came with. Now let's get into the brand new figure. And here is the brand new Thor figure. I really, really do like this sculpt on him. And I believe they did give us a reuse of the arms from the Infinity War slash Endgame Thor. But aside from that, everything else looks pretty brand new on this. I really do like the cape. The detailing on the back of the figure is also pretty nice too. I also really do like the very shiny look to it. Only thing I wish they would have given us an alternate head, but I know with the Ravenger Thor that came out in this exact same wave, uh, I believe you can just pop this head off and put that one on. And uh, I really hope that's the case because I really, really do want an alternate head for this one. But yeah, very, very nice detailing. I really do like that they kind of made this the most comic accurate suit that he's had. Uh, and for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I believe it was either the early 2000s or the 90s where he had a costume very similar to this. I don't remember what it was called, but all I know is it was really bright blue and had a lot of gold uh, on it and also gave him a big winged helmet like this one. And I don't know if you guys can really tell that, but he kind of looks a little cross-eyed with the helmet 
but let me just say they did like paint his eyeballs and he does have very pretty eyeballs and also a very good uh, stubble or beard growing on and also the hair color definitely the most realistic one that I've seen on any figure so far I also really really not a big fan of uh, how far you can go up with the head because he can't really look up that much without kind of using the diaphragm joint but he can look down a pretty good amount and I also really do like this cape sorry if I'm just jumping back to the cape it's just a very nice bright red and this is definitely the most comic accurate cape that I think we've had on an MCU figure he can also move out that far he has a double jointed elbow which I couldn't do because I forgot to heat up the figure and there we go and also I really do like the uh, kind of um, uh, the armband because this is kind of reminiscent of the uh, 80th anniversary tour Oops. which I have right here like compared to that one here's what I'm talking about like the little wrist gauntlet very reminiscent of that door yep and he does have the brand new diaphragm joint and from what it seems like he does not have waist articulation he can kick out pretty far too he has upper thigh rotation a double jointed knee and he also does have an ankle pivot And, like I said, I did forget to heat this up, so the figure is kind of a little stiff. But still a very, very beautiful figure, and I really, really do like it. So I'm going to compare him to a couple of the older Thors that we did get. Alright, and here he is next to the other... Alright, uh, anyway, uh, here he is next to the two other movie Thor figures I have. Here we have the Endgame... Uh, Thor or Fat Thor such Bro Thor and here we have my personal favorite Thor in my collection the Infinity War Thor and very very nice that all of these scale up mm, pretty well this one's just a smidge shorter than this one but this one's still very good and another thing I forgot to point out he does have very nice like leg braces and shiny metallic blue all over him and from what it looks like, there isn't a lot of marbling on mine, which I'm kind of happy about. But yeah, these are very, very good in scale. So for those of you who do stop motions, I do recommend that if you do plan on ever using this Thor in this, like in any of your stop motions, I do recommend it because they all do line up very well. And I'm going to see if the uh, heads can switch out real quick. Because if it can, I'm going to use that to my advantage. Okay. And it actually does work. Yeah. So if you do want to switch heads to the Infinity War Thor, head does really work very well on it. And the skin tones do match up very well, actually. I actually really like this. Like, I might actually keep this Thor like that. Now I'm going to try it with the... Bro Thor. And I'm not so sure it would work with this one because this one did have a little bit of a different joint, but oh, it does work. It works very well, actually. So, yeah. So, if you want to like uh, alternate the heads between the Infinity War one, the Bro Thor, or just the alternate head, you do have a uh, few choices. few choices to do. And I actually really, really like how both the Infinity War head and the Endgame head fit on this. Like, the skin tones do match up very well from what it looks like, or what little is showing anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to compare him to a couple more comic figures. Alright, and here he is next to the 80th anniversary Thor, and the first Thor wave, uh, Jaden Foster Thor, and... These two actually scaled way better than I thought they did with each other, so. 
and I really do like seeing these two next to each other because uh, this is the first Thor costume that we truthfully ever saw and this is like the more updated one. This isn't the modern Thor costume. Uh, in the modern comics he does uh, possess the power of cosmic and I did pre-order that figure and when I get that one I'm gonna be doing a review on that one because that one I'm very excited for. But here he is compared to those two and I really do like the uh, size difference between the Lady Thor and this Thor. They scale very well together. I'm also very excited to like get that Jane Foster Thor figure because I really am excited about what they're going to do with her in the new movie. Uh, like, I'm not going to lie, this figure, I really do like it. Only downside to it, I wish it did come with like another hand compared to the single fisted hand that we did get. And let me get, that, get another look at that. But yeah, basically aside from just not having enough accessories with it, I personally really do love this figure. But another thing I'm not very happy about is that it is $25 because Marvel Legends have grown excessively in price over just the past uh, about six months, I want to say, because for the longest time they were $20. Like from, I know when I started collecting in 2014, they were $20 up until like late 2021, I want to say, something like that. And just in 22, 2022 alone, they've grown from 22 to 25, and from what it seems like, they're going to be uh, increasing the price to about $28, which kind of sucks, so I won't be able to buy every single figure like I've been wanting, so I'm going to kind of have to pick and choose which ones I want for a while, just until I know I can, uh, you know, uh, pay my bills and stuff like that. But aside from that, I really do love this figure, and he will be a main staple uh, in my uh, Cinematic Universe collection when I set it up, because I am in the process of uh, packing my things, because I'm going to be moving in a couple of months. Well, a couple, about four to five, I want to say. So, that, I know I'm packing really early, but i uh, got to be more prepared than not prepared, I is what my father says. But yeah, with enough rambling, uh, I really do recommend this figure for those of you who do collect them, and for those of you who accidentally clicked on this video, uh, thank you for watching all the way through if you did. But uh, yeah, without any further ado, thank you all for watching, uh, thank you all for subscribing, leave a comment down below on what you want me to do next, because I will uh, read them and who knows, maybe you'll be lucky enough to uh, uh, get a shout out by me in one of, your in one of my videos. But yeah, aside from that, thank you all for watching, and I will catch all of you people in the next video. Peace. God of Thunder rules.